This is the story of a former US Marine accused of spying here in Moscow and of the Russian friend he says betrayed him. His name is Paul Whelan. He was arrested last December and I've been following his case ever since. He's now told me he's been framed by a man he believes is a Russian intelligence agent. Paul, can you tell us what happened when you were arrested? A person turned up at my room, uh, put something in my pocket, and then I was arrested. That person is an FSB officer, is someone I've known for 10 years. Russia's foreign minister says Paul Whelan was caught red-handed with state secrets. But he is a British citizen too, and his family in England are adamant he's innocent. This is ridiculous. Utterly ridiculous. You're automatically transported into some kind of James Bond, Jason Bourne mindset um, because it's the stuff of movies. This isn't, this isn't my cousin. This isn't Paul. This isn't him. To unpick all this, we need to go back in time to almost a year before Mr. Whelan's arrest. It was January 2018 and Paul Whelan was here in Moscow on a short break. He visited Russia many times over more than a decade and he had friends here who he'd met via social media. This time one of them met him at the airport. Paul Whelan then posted photographs on Instagram as usual as the friends visited the Kremlin and other sites here. The Whelan family have now released photographs of that man. Now, we're not disclosing his identity because Paul Whelan alleges he's a serving intelligence officer and that information is secret here. But it does appear that they've been close for years. That January, the Russian invited Mr Whelan to his family home and the two took a train about an hour's ride outside Moscow. This is Sergiev Passad with its stunning old Russian Orthodox monastery. It's one of the most popular tourist sites that there is outside Moscow. And we know that Paul Whelan visited here from his social media posts. Now this time it was his friend who was his guide and his host. Mr Whelan even took the family dog for a walk. Now, because this is an espionage case, the full details are classified and there are some things here in Sergei Passad that it's impossible for us to follow up on. But bear with me, because what happened here on this visit is critical to what happened next. And for that, we need to fast forward to December 2018, when Paul Whelan was back again in Moscow. He checks in here at the Metropole Hotel. It was just before Christmas last year and Mr Whelan says he was here for a wedding. Another former US Marine who was marrying a Russian girl. Paul Whelan himself hooked up again with his old friend from Sergei Passad. In fact, they had Christmas lunch together at a Moscow steakhouse. Then, three days later, Paul Whelan disappeared. We now know he'd been arrested in here for espionage. Paul Whelan says he was in his room, one like this, getting ready for the wedding when his Russian friend arrived uninvited. His lawyers say he was in the bathroom when that friend then placed a flash drive in his pocket. They say the two friends had talked before about how Mr Whelan wanted some photographs from their trip to Sergei Passad and that he thought that's what was on the drive. Mr Whelan himself says he didn't even know he had it. Moments later, the FSB rushed in and Paul Whelan was arrested on suspicion of receiving state secrets. Some people question what an ex-military man with no fewer than four passports was doing here in Russia. As well as befriending an FSB agent, some of those he met online had a military background. But I've spoken to some of them and they've described a man curious about Russian culture and its people. In fact, one of them said, if he's a spy, then I'm Michael Jackson. His family shrug off the suspicions too. You know, there are, there are people who travel all around the world who will have friends in the military in different countries um, and they will visit different countries um, for, you know, whether it be business, whether it be pleasure, it doesn't make them a spy. 
uh, there should be condemnation of these actions. If a British citizen is being ill-treated or his human rights aren't being met or he's not being afforded access to international law, then um, the British government should stand up and say, this is not right. Why is this happening? And, and make it plain that they're taking some action. I haven't seen that. The Americans, though, have been far more active. Even the ambassadors visited Mr Whelan in prison several times. The case has put relations between Russia and the West under even more strain. Mr Whelan has claimed he's a political hostage. What do you make of that statement? Well, I don't think it serves any purpose to speculate on the politics uh, or the specifics uh, of this case other than to say there has been no evidence. And this is my biggest concern as a U.S. ambassador here in Russia is uh, Paul Whelan uh, has been locked up now for nine months without a shred of evidence. No crime ever occurred. There is no evidence of a crime. The espionage trial is due to begin here in a few months. If Mr Whelan were found guilty, he'd be facing up to 20 years behind bars.